Hello my country people. Welcome back to the news. Guys, no be small thing they happen though. President Bola admits in Ibu now blames a university clerk for invalid graduation dates, signature, logo, and other animalies on the Chicago uh, certificate. Guys, this is really serious. The president has implicated a clerk at the Chicago State University as responsible for all the irregularities that characterized this, uh, his uh, certificate in the school. According to news reporters, the Nigerian president said the unnamed clerk unfortunately made the errors as to the dates the school started the school stated on his recently issued certificate that when he actually graduated, thereby creating the appearance of differences. President Bolad Metinibu's statement was filed on August 23rd by his counsel as part of his argument before the United States District Court for the Northern District of Illinois in Chicago. George Geoffrey Gilbert had given the Nigerian politician until August 23rd to explain to the people why his academic records at the Chicago State University shouldn't be released to his political opponent, Atiku Abubakar. Atiku Abubakar had earlier this month requested the court's approval for a subpoena. Mr. Tinibu's files domiciled with the Chicago State University because he believed the document would clarify, you know, glaring inconsistencies in Tinibu's background, including publicly available documents that suggested the Chicago State University in the 1970s admitted a female student bearing Bola Tinibu, who was born on March 29, 1950. Four. And now President Bola Admetinibu said he was born on March 29, 1954, although he had also at different times listed 1954 as his birthday year in the past. He also recently, you know, expurged his primary and secondary education from his records after it was discovered that the schools he listed under oath in his 1999 run for Lagos governor did not exist anywhere in this country, in Nigeria. So, Atiku Abubakar believed the requested records would show which early and high, you know, papers Tinibu submitted to the Chicago State University before he was admitted because he claimed he studied uh, accounting in the Chicago State University. And then Atiku Abubakar had sued to obtain Tinibu's school records under a U.S. statute that allows documents available in the U.S. to be supponiered for use as evidence in a foreign court. Atiku Abubakar argued that uh, Tinibu had presented a contradictory claims in Nigeria and the Chicago State University in responding to a previous supponiered had issued documents that contradicted what Tinibu had entered under oath in Nigeria. Now, Tinibu's lawyer, led by Oluwole Afolabi and Christopher, argued that the August 2022 Soponia that was issued following a request by the Nigerian lawyer, Mike Eba, was illegal because he had no valid grounds to seek the document, especially under education privacy rights. You know, especially under education privacy rights. The lawyers nevertheless admitted the document needed, you know, uh, emanated from the Chicago State University, but an unnamed clerk had mistakenly typed the graduation dates. So my country people, Unfortunately, in responding to the illegal and invalid subpoena, the Chicago State University made several errors. 
Tinibu's attorney said that uh, the Chicago State University issued a new diploma for Bola Admet Tinibu, but incorrectly wrote the date of the graduation as June 27, 1979. The lawyers also said changes in the school at all right signatories and logos alongside other things, you know, like the front of the certificate also all combined to generate an appearance of wrongdoing. So the correct date was actually June 22, June 22, 1979. But this error now, you know, along with a change in the Chicago State University logo, the front on the diploma, and the leadership at the Chicago State University who signed the diploma created the appearance of differences between an earlier issued diploma and the one issued in response to the 2022 Soponia, the lawyers argued. So, Atiku Abubakar said he filed the suit because he wanted to get the school to clarify that all the documents relating to Tinibu some of which had been filed by the Nigeria's president lawyers in the Nigerian court as part of the ongoing election petitions tribunal proceedings. But Tinibu further argued that Atiku Abubakar's request should be requesting the document because Tinibu's academic records were not part of the, you know, the initial litigation over the Nigeria's election. They said the opposition leader's uh, argument had been focused entirely on cheating and other irregularities ara around the, the conduct of the election. That was what they said. They also argued that the Nigerian court hearing the election petitions had already concluded hearing on the argument and the judgment is now being anticipated. So we know that the court is expected to, de uh, to deliver judgment on or before September 21st in line with the Nigerian electoral law that mandates the conclusion of a, pet uh, of a petition within 180 days after the election, which we all know that the presidential election was held on February 25th, 2023, and then Tinibu was sworn in as the president on May 29th. But as they be like this to my country people, Tinibu is claiming that uh, a university clerk had made errors concerning his graduation date and the signature and logos and other things guys i think this is a is just another excuse so atiku abubakar is actually correct because tinibu is definitely is hiding something surely tinibu is really hiding something and this is really you know shocking that tinibu has been lying to nigerians all this while that he went to Chicago State University. He went to the Chicago State University. Meanwhile, he didn't. It was a female bearing the name Bola Tinibu that attended that Chicago State University. And we are yet to get to the root of this issue. So my country people, what are your thoughts on this? I'm dropping here, guys. Kindly share your thoughts concerning this in the comment section. Thank you.